Say hey, yo. Say hey, yo. <laughs> yo. He won't say it when I want her to say it, guys. She's going to say it when she's, like, randomly playing or we're in the car. Or in, if she's in the mood. Yeah, she's in the mood. And right now, she doesn't seem like she's in the mood to talk. It's almost nap time, though. But we're about to head out. We're going to the farm today. Gonna spend some time out. Gonna spend some time outside with the family. See the animals. Our cows. And see all the poop. Yeah. Today I'm going to be showing you my preferred or recommendations when it comes to hygiene, scents, and squads for spring and summertime. I'm kind of including summertime in this because, I mean, it's like 90 degrees here in Texas and that's summer for a lot of people. I was going to try to do a shop with me video for you guys, but there was this one-year-old that for some reason was acting a fool at the store. I mean, throwing fit, screaming, throwing objects. And I don't know who raised her, but I could not get anything done. And then she followed me home. And now look at her. I don't know, this baby's weird. Yeah, mm -hmm. Shop With Me did not work. But I only got a couple items. Most of the items that I'm about to show you you are showing out right now. Most of the items I already had, so I only got a few things new. We're trying to go to the farm, so I'm gonna end the intro here and we can go ahead and get right into the video. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> they're, they're not on the screen, but they're gonna say bye-bye over here. It's not a FaceTime, we're recording. Oh, okay. Maybe. Hey, yo. Yeah. <laughs> yo. Hey, yo. Let's start off with something bright like this Method Body Citrus Ginger and Sea Buckthorn Energy Boost Body Wash. I smelled this a few times in the past and I was not into it at all. I don't know if those were like bad batches or something because when I smelled this the other day, I kind of really fell in love with it. I don't remember it smelling like the way that it does now. But that ginger and just citrus combination, I think is perfect for that spring summertime weather. For moisturization, I think the Dr. Teal's body lotion and the Radiant Citrus is going to be perfect with this. It's very orangey forward. It's absolutely no mistaking this. And I love the Dr. Teal's lotions. I think they are a good consistency when it comes to the warmer months. I also feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck with their lotions. Deodorant, I smell this ginger lemonade cupcake. It's a very nice, sweet, citrusy scent. I feel like it will complement the body wash perfectly. These two products right here smell like something you would drink for brunch. I can't pinpoint what alcoholic beverage it is, but it smells exactly like something I have definitely drank before and I'm in love with it. I found this Dr. Teal Shea Sugar Scrub in Citrus with Vitamin C. You guys know if you've been following me for a while that the Tree Hut Vitamin C body scrub, I really am not into. I don't like the smell of it at all. It kind of smells medicated to me. So it's never been a scrub that I chose to pick up, but this one smells just like fresh orange slices. I really, really enjoy it. If you're like me and not into the Tree Hut one, or you're looking for something with a little bit more kind of citrusy scent, I definitely think this one outshines the Tree Hut version, which I don't say very often. This one is definitely going to be one that I think I buy frequently, especially for the warmer months. Two body sprays that I think would go really well with this squad. Raspberry Tangerine, I feel like will play more on the citrusy notes of this routine. And the Margarita Cupcake, I feel like will play more on the sweet notes of this squad. I can kind of alternate. I love both of these scents. They are phenomenal. We're going completely sweet with this Olay Fresh Outlast Pineapple and Coconut Water Body Wash. This smells so freaking good. Olay really doesn't ever disappoint me, I feel like, on the scent. It's just kind of like two of them that I'm not really into. Not because they smell bad, they're just not scents that I normally go for. But I am in love with this pineapple one. We're obviously going to go in with the Tree Hut Pineapple Shea Sugar Scrub. It smells absolutely delicious. They nailed it with this scent. I obviously love the bright yellow color. And I have been patiently waiting to use this until I got that body wash and I am just like... 
I could eat like this entire jar. Sometimes the fruity tree hut scrubs, I don't really feel smell like the fruit, like the watermelon one. I don't get watermelon notes out of it at all. But this definitely smells like they chopped up some pineapple and just stuck it into this jar and like blended it up with some sugar. I mean, there is no mistaking that this is pineapple scented. I don't really have a pineapple deodorant. I don't know if there is one. I'm gonna kind of be on the hunt to see if I can find one, but I'm not sure if there is. So I'm gonna skip it for now. But I think I'd pair it with like either my unscented sensitive skin deodorant or maybe the mango one. I don't think that the mango one will overpower the pineapple smell. We're gonna just move on to the lotion and this hemp sweet pineapple and honey melon. I'm obsessed with this, but they are so expensive. So I tend not to use it that often just because of how much they cost. I know a lot of you tell me that they sell them at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and things like that, but I've never been able to find this scent at those stores. And this is by far my favorite one from Hints. It is just super bright and sweet smelling. I like the consistency, the way that it makes my skin feel. I really recommend this one if you don't have it yet, but like I said, it's pretty expensive, so it's not something that I use very often. But I also didn't have like a pure pineapple squad to use with it. I used this with the like papaya squad that I had forever ago, if you guys remember. I have that Maui pineapple and papaya body wash, and I used that papaya paradise tree hut scrub, and that's what I originally used this lotion with. But now we're going to dive into more of the pineapple state of it, and I love it. Also don't have a body mist for this. I know that Bath and Body Works has a coconut pineapple, and I want to try to get my hands on that to use with this since this is definitely pineapple and coconut. I think it will match this perfectly, but until then I may just go in with the mango because like I said, I have that mango deodorant. And I think that this smells in the same realm of this. So it will be okay of a mix. Not my like first choice, but it will do for now. Okay, so next we're gonna go with peach and I am extremely excited for this squad. So I have the Olay Peach and Cherry Blossom. Last year I did the Nivea Peach body wash, which I still really love and highly recommend if you've never used it. I smelled this one for the first time. I don't know if it's new uh, the other day and I definitely wanted to pick it up. It smells so juicy and freaking good. I think the Nivea one and this one, they're kind of tied for me. Just like a slight difference in the smell, but they kind of smell pretty similar. I know the Nivea one is kind of hard to find. Like I can only find Nivea body washes at my CVS. They don't sell them at my Walmart or Target. I don't know how it's for everybody else or I can find it on Amazon. But this one seems to be more readily available. So if you're looking for a great peach body wash, this one I highly, highly freaking recommend. It smells so good. And I don't have it here because I'm out, but I do plan on getting another one. The Nectar Bath Treat Scrub, the Peach Sangria will match this. I mentioned in my previous videos that that is one of my favorite body scrubs. I do have a Nectar Bath Treats code in my description box if you're interested in trying out any of their things, but that will be the scrub that I use with this. For deodorant, I finally have a peach one. I found the Native Fresh Peach Cupcake. They also have like a peaches and cream or something like that. Don't quote me, that's not the exact name, but if you've seen it, you probably know what I'm talking about. I feel like this one smells better, has a stronger scent in my opinion, because I smell both. And ultimately I went with this one. It's definitely a sweeter peach as well. I think the other one that was more mild didn't have much of a sweet note to it. So if you're not into like sweet things, but you still want that peach scent, the other one might be better for you. But this one to me smells more like that and look at the oh my god the colors freaking match perfectly you guys know this is me right here like everything when things match you guys know that it makes me so freaking happy using my pretty as a peach bath and body works body cream however i am almost out of this so once i use this up i will probably reach for something else i don't know any other peach lotions but i do want to try something else even though i do love this or if this is out at bath and body works yet or if they're even bringing it back i'm not a hundred percent sure i didn't see it the last time i was there so that's why i'm thinking i might need to venture out a little bit but until this is gone this is what i'm going to be using for the squad and then of course i will finish it off with the pretty as a peach body mist from bath and body works you guys have seen this one a lot but it definitely feel like it needs to be mentioned for the spring summer months the Alba Botanica Honey Mango. This is a very lightly scented 
body wash, but it is still nice. Normally I'm into like the stronger scents just because I want the scent to obviously last. Out of all the kind of mango forward body washes that I've smelled, this one to me smells the best. Also out of the scrub for this, but I paired it with the Papaya Paradise. That one to me smells better. You can also pair it with the Tropical Mango, but that scrub from tree hut is not my favorite i prefer the papaya paradise and even though this is mango and that's papaya i feel like they smell pretty identical i tried to get some more but they were sold out at my store so hopefully i can find it again so that i can finish off this routine we're gonna go in with the body shop mango body yogurt which i'm almost out of but this is one of my favorite kind of body cream lotion type things ever. The smell is so strong and I feel like it lasts pretty long. It's light and airy, so definitely not too heavy for the hotter months. We're gonna pair it with the Dove Mango Sunshine deodorant. I actually think I prefer the smell of the stick other than the spray. When I smelled the stick, I really, really liked it. And I'm not saying that the spray is bad, but when I sprayed this for the first time, it didn't smell like the stick to me so i think the next time i get this i will buy not the spray version just because like i said it's not technically my favorite even though it doesn't smell bad i just was really in love with it when i smelled the stick at the store and then this kind of like threw me for a loop naturally to finish it off the mango mai tai body mist from bath and body works Here's a scent I don't think you can go wrong with. Coconut lime is going to be perfect for the spring and going into summer. So I got the Sweet Spot Labs Coconut Lime Body Wash. This one is safe enough to use for your downstairs area. So I really like it. It's very lightly scented in coconut lime. It's got a great lather. You can find these Sweet Spot Labs products in my Amazon shop, which is also in my description box. We have the Coconut Lime Tree Hut Scrub, which in the beginning, this wasn't my favorite scrub, even though it smelled nice. I just felt like Tree Hut scrubs, there were better options. However, now I feel like I have a full routine for this. It's something that I actually truly enjoy because I bought a second tub of this so fast when it took me forever to get through the first one. But once I found a complete squad for it, I was like, yes, this is kind of my go-to now. The Coconut Lime Moisturizing Shave Oil. I'm obsessed with the Tree Hut Shave Oils. They are freaking amazing very strong and scent for a shaving product some of the shave products are very lightly scented even though they say they have a scent the shave oils you can smell it girl i mean smell it so i really love that i haven't shown anything for here but i want to get the cremo coconut mango scented shave cream it's one of my favorites and i didn't find it the other day or else I would have picked it up but that's definitely what I'm going to be using for this probably even for this it's lightly scented so I feel like anything kind of fruity or citrusy the coconut mango shave cream go with anything or I will be using just the plain flamingo foaming shade gel which I'm really loving the new aesthetics of the bottle I'm supportive of this change I think it looks so much better than the previous one this will go with you know anything because there's just no smell to it but i definitely recommend the cremo shaving products they're just great creams back to this so i will be finishing it off with the coconut lime body spray this is definitely one of my favorite sprays For deodorants i would probably go in mostly with this pear one from dove the zero percent it's one of my favorite deodorants you guys know i'm obsessed with the pear scent but i really feel like the dove pear product go really well with the coconut lime scent. Or I could kind of switch it up for this cucumber and mint. It's not the perfect match, but don't feel like it would take away from it. This would be my first choice, but if I just want to switch things up, this one wouldn't mess it up in my opinion. In here, and I'm so excited for this one as well. Almost, if not the same exact excitement for that citrus one, but this Olay Jasmine Petals. Now you guys know I'm not typically a floral fan, but this has some major sweet notes to it and it smells so freaking good. It shook me. I honestly was expecting to smell this and not like it, but I love the ribbons line just because of how pretty the body washes are. The honey one is my favorite, but I really love the lavender one as well. This was my first time smelling the jasmine one and it is so good. To me, this might actually be the epitome of a spring scent. I'm thinking the Tree Hut Green Tea Sugar Scrub is going to go amazingly with the Olay Jasmine Petals. They both kind of have the sweetness undertone which match really well together. If you didn't want it too fruity, I feel like you could also go in with the Matcha Mojito. I would prefer 
this one, but this technically is one of my all time favorite body scrubs from Tree Hut, if not my ultimate favorite. This can also go really well with coconut lime, in my opinion. There's also a matcha native like body wash and deodorant. And I should have picked up the deodorant when I saw it the other day. I'm kicking myself that I didn't, but I didn't see the body wash, so I didn't end up getting it. This will work for this for now, but the minute I see that matcha native body wash, I will be picking that up and the deodorant to go with this because it would be a perfect match. For deodorants, I have two options. I do think that you can pair it with the cucumber and mint, which I want to buy the Method Body Cucumber Detox Body Wash. It's one of my favorites, and that is what I typically use the cucumber and mint type deodorants to go with, but I think it will pair with this nicely. But I saw this Midnight Jasmine and Sage. It's honestly killing me. This is like a deep blue color and not a green one. But we're going to pretend like it's green. They saw Midnight and they were like, let's just make this blue. It's bothering me. But this smells a lot like the body wash in my opinion this is what i bought to go with this squad here i'm still searching for a body mist to go with this i don't feel like i have the perfect one in my stash yet i need to kind of go through it i do have sweet floral body mist but they're very warm and deep which scream fall winter to me not necessarily spring so i need a floral sweet note that is bright okay i have another green one i forgot i had like three green things green just obviously screams spring and they go with my nails so well. So this Love and Beauty Planet Kiwi and Peptides. Y'all, this smells like a freaking dream. I've never had a kiwi based body wash before. And this smells divine. I'm in love. In love with it. They also had a watermelon one, which I was debating on getting. Because I really love the Olay watermelon version. But... They're kind of similar, so I didn't know if I wanted to pick up the watermelon in this brand or not. I'm debating. I don't have a watermelon scrub that I like yet. I really don't like the Tree Hut one. And I just realized, like, the other day after I kind of went shopping that Nectar had a watermelon body scrub. And I feel like I've always loved Nectar bath treat scents. They're always very strong. So I think I'll pick up the watermelon one and then I'll end up getting a body wash because obviously watermelon is perfect for spring like the epitome of spring picnics so i definitely need to go get watermelon scented things but i just wasn't quite sure what i wanted to pick up anyways i'm getting distracted i'm sorry so back to this kiwi i don't know what peptides is but the kiwi in this smells freaking amazing and god was really looking out for me because what are the chances that i stumble across a kiwi and mango scrub which i've never heard of this brand so I was expecting when I opened it to absolutely hate the smell. Like I thought it was going to be absolute garbage and it smells just like that body wash. It is so good and bright and strong and fruity. I hope it smells that way out of the jar, but the color is so pretty. I mean, it's not green. I'm obsessed with this color. Let's go really well with this deodorant though. I wonder if these would be, I don't feel like that would be a good match. I'm excited to try this out because like I said, I've never used or even heard of this brand before. It's looking kind of thick, like thicker than Tree Hut, but not thick as the Nectar Bath Treats one. So I'm really excited to use this. I don't have a Kiwi deodorant, so I will probably go in with this pear deodorant for that as well. If there's any Kiwi deodorants. I didn't see any the other day, but maybe I can keep looking. I don't feel like the mango one would work out at all. Even though the scrub is Kiwi and mango, this mango smells nothing like that. So I wouldn't recommend that one because I feel like it will just throw off the whole routine. This pear one would work much better. And I don't have a Kiwi body spray. Does Bath & Body Works have a Kiwi body spray? I'm not really sure. I've never seen one, but this ice pear margarita one will go really well with that. Though the fruits are different, this smells nearly identical to that stuff. So this will be a really good pairing. Okay, I really feel like this is a must have for spraying the lilac and white tea native body wash. I needed more lavender body wash, but I smelled this and this reads lavender, but not the overly power lavender. Does that make sense? Read kind of the same to me. This just isn't as like overpowering. I feel like some lavender scented things can be just too over the top, but this is like a good meet in the middle. This is like a compromise. This is a happy couple right here. I have the lavender tree. I really, really love it. It is very lavender forward. 
but I think it will complement the lilac and white tee very, very nicely it's out of this. But this is gonna obviously pair well with that. The Cremo French Lavender Shave Cream. It's very lightly scented, but it is definitely lavender. I have a sweet note to it, which I feel like really plays off this well. I'm gonna have to buy <laughs> like a new lavender lotion and shave cream the minute I use this body wash because these two things are gonna be empty the minute I do it. I barely have anything left and that's a brand new lavender scrub. I finished my other one with the Olay Ribbons Lavender. I got a new one, but this stuff is about to be gone. So I actually got this from my mother and I didn't think I would like it at all because like I said, I feel like some lavender things can be too overpowering and there's a lot of Jergens scented things that kind of smell too mature for me. I felt like this was gonna be something that was too mature, but it's actually really, really, really nice. And I love the consistency of it. Another gift for my mom. So this is Lavender Rose. Now the native brand does have obviously the matching lilac and white tea deodorant. However, like I said, they read very similar. I smelled the deodorant of that and this, knowing that I already had this, but I just kind of wanted to compare. And to me, they, read nearly identical so I feel like you can't go wrong with either one I didn't feel like I needed to pick this up when it smelled so closely to this I felt like that would be a waste I'm just gonna use the lavender and rose with this squad and then again almost out of this the dove lavender dry spray I don't really like this scent in the stick at all it's so weird sometimes I love the stick and the sprays and then in some cases I like one or the other this is the one that I prefer in the spray. It's one of my favorite deodorants for some odd reason. I never would have guessed that, but the smell of this deodorant is top tier. Here we got the St. Ives Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange. We're back on another kind of citrusy type routine. There was a Nectar Bath Treat scrub that I used for this and I cannot think of the name of it right now. I did a full shower routine video on it forever ago. So I will either link that down below or in the cards or something. I just can't remember the name of the scrub, but that paired really, really nicely with this. Or you could really use this one. I feel like the Nectar Bath Treats one matched better with this, but that won't ruin it. And to moisturize, I use the Skin Smoothie Pink Grapefruit and Pomelo. Kind of brings out the sweetness of this. I would just pair it with this Dove Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena scent. To me, those go really well together. And then for body mist, I can't remember if this is a scent I used with that in my video or not. I don't know if I have this yet, but this is what I would pair for it right now. I really do like this scent, but to me, it's very springy and summery. So I didn't really use it during the fall winter time, but it is such a great scent. Now we're definitely going to dive into strawberry. So Previously, I had the Pacifica Strawberry Peach Body Wash, but I'm all out of that, so I'm trying to use this up. The Velvet Sugar does have strawberry notes to it, but I do know that this is like a retired scent, so you probably can't find it right now, so I do highly recommend the Pacifica Strawberry Peach Body Wash for the rest of the squad that I'm about to show you. And for scrubs, we have to go in with the Tree Hut Strawberry. This and the Pineapple is everything that I wanted the Watermelon Scrub to be. I don't know how they nailed it, with these two scents and then watermelon just fell short but it is a very strongly scented very fruity and sweet it is absolute perfection then i'm almost out of this i'm so sad the body shop strawberry body yogurt again one of my favorites very strawberry forward there's like no mistaking this scent it smells so good the perfect body spray for the squad is the strawberry soda from bath and body works i know a lot of people are a fan of the strawberry pound cake i'm so sorry to say i cannot stand that scent i don't like it at all this to me smells a thousand times better and unfortunately i don't have a strawberry deodorant i know that dove has a strawberry one out when they came out with the mango one but i couldn't smell that scent at all and somebody else also told me that it doesn't smell like anything i don't know why there's no strawberry scent to that deodorant if it would have smelled that's what i would have used but i haven't found a strawberry deodorant that i like so we're just going to go in with the cherry and vanilla macaron it's deep 
and sweet. I don't feel like it takes away from the strawberry at all. I feel like it just kind of enhances it a little bit, even though it's a bit of a warmer smell. I think that's gonna be it for my spring recommendations. I feel like this is quite a few options. I was trying to think if I had any more, but I don't think that I do. But we got your citrus, and we got your sweet, and we got your floral, we got your planty type things going on. So if you want to smell good this spring, this is what I recommend for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.